All right, today I'm gonna to do just a wedge refresh. So this is my sandwich, my 54. You could see it's had some use, not a crazy amount of wear, but I'm gonna go through here and show you how I kind of refresh it. Now look at the grooves, and the grooves are pretty solid in here. You can see, give you different angles here. So the grooves are good enough to play for another year if I clean it up. So we'll go through and show you the process. Now to go through the sole and to work it, you can use a metal file, sander, or rolls a little better, but this is just a vibration sander and it'll do the job. I usually will start out with like a 110 and then work to 220. Or my all time favorite, cheap angle grinder, flap disc. This is actually a 60 uh, grit flap disc and I'll show you how this works. So I'm not trying to change the shape of it. I like the bounce. I, I, I do square the lead edge a little bit sometimes but real simple. And you can see right away that takes metal off. This is an extremely aggressive way and a quick way to get all the little nicks and get the wedge nice and you know basic steel from there. I'm gonna go through it now and show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so this is about as far as I'm gonna go with this tool. You can see it's not a smooth finish at all, but I look through it and there's not really you know, any deep gashes or nicks at this point, I've kind of gotten all that out. I did sharpen the lead edge a little bit here. So, I, sorry, I did sharpen the lead edge a little bit. You can see that. So I like to take away a little bit here to kind of square that up. I don't like a huge round edge on these full clubs like this, um, but that's where I'm at. Okay, so next I've got the 100 grit on here, and this is just an Amazon uh, decent sandpaper, 100 grit. And what I do with this, I will kind of just go over it. It won't get it polished, but it'll smooth out the grit that you've seen in there. And I'll work over the entire club here. So All right, this one's real simple. I'm just going to work it around and kind of move it and angle it so I don't get any flat spots. But here it goes. All right, and this is a couple minutes in, so we've gone through and sanded it down. Now, again, this is a rough finish, 100 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the face. So a couple ways I do the face. So I always start by marking it, get something flat. So make sure I don't hit any low spots. And you can see my face refinish video, but you can simply X up and across or this way. So if you do an X pattern with a file, work at it for a little bit. Or if I have a nice flat surface, like I can go on here, I can work it. And right away you can see some low areas right in here that it didn't get. So that'll kind of get in there. I don't want to take too much surface off. I will come back and clean the grooves, but you know I'll probably finish off here. I'm gonna try to get this as flat as possible. The whole goal is to get a nice level surface. And I'll work at it. So I feel like I'm at a good place with the face right here. Gone through and scratched through it. There's still some nicks, but overall pretty good grooves. They're all clogged up with gunk right now. Um, I've got some more polishing obviously to do and some more stages here, but I'm gonna transition on to cleaning the grooves. Those that have seen my videos, I use a little silicone oil. Any oil will work, anything that just kind of lubricates. I find the smallest one on the tool and these can be purchased on eBay. Uh, I have a link in my, I believe my groove refinishing video, but I'll just do kind of one, two, three, four passes. So you get the question a lot, does this make your grooves illegal? Now, there's two measurements, width and depth. So by not going and really taking out much depth, you know, I'm, I'm negating it by sanding it down a slight, slight. I mean, it's a fraction of anything. All I'm really doing is trying to clean out any grips or any grabs, any of the little nicks that come in. 
Um, but I've measured the smallest one to the width that's conforming. So I'm not taking a width. I'm not taking a wider one that's gonna open the gaps up more. Um, so I'm within conforming limits as far as width and I'm not trying to go very deep with it. That's my goal with this. Okay, now that I have it cleaned out, we're gonna go on to the polishing step. So get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna go back to this guy and start with some 220 in here and we'll see how we can get that. Okay, so we're gonna go with the 220 now and work through this. So just simple, same kind of method. Now this is where at times I go through it and I look at it and I can see some kind of nicks and dings and this will give me a better picture of where I need to kind of go back over with the 110. So I'm always jumping. I'll do this initially over the whole thing and then I'll go back and clean up like this little guy right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little nick right here and some little ones right here because I want to get this one looking pretty good. Okay, so I've gone through the 220 everywhere, um, worked it out pretty good, as good as I need it to be. Um, I mean, I'm going to use this wedge. I used it last year. I'm going to use it again. So I'm switching over to a, a wire wheel and then a polishing wheel, and I'll show you how that goes. I'm applying very light pressure. Kind of let the wheel do the work. For the touchy areas too, a few dollars on a little wire wheel attachment here can do wonders on just a cheap drill. Okay, so this is kind of what, oh, I got a couple little nicks in there I gotta get out. But this is kind of what I'm looking at now. So I polished out on the toe around here with the wire wheel. And you can see it's a pretty decent finish, but it's not a perfect finish. So we're gonna take that over to actually the polishing wheel. You can do all kinds of steps. You can go 220 to 400 to 600, 800, do different levels of compound on the wheel. But I typically go straight from wire wheel to or 220 to wire wheel to buffing and I get pretty solid results. Okay, so I'm just using a green compound. And we'll work it similar to the other side. Okay, so here's where we're at now. You can see, should have a good video. Nice, clean looking wedge, got some scuffs in there. So one thing that is very important to me is a clean top line. So when I look at the top line, I gotta make sure no big nicks or anything in there. Now the face is good, but I'm gonna actually take it off to the sand blaster, give us more contrast, uh, rough it up the face and pro tip, if you put a little bit of heat, not too much, you know, a little quick lighter or whatnot, you can usually slide the ferrule up to get, and then tape it off to give yourself some space there when you're working with this area right here. So um, again, just kind of a 
here's what the club looks like. Different angles there. And if you really want it, if you are torching it and want to get a really nice clean look, go through all the steps. Do at least two different um, buffing compounds. Do a couple more grits of sandpaper. Get it as polished as you can because the, the shinier you get with the torch club, the better finish and more consistent finish you're going to get. Okay, we are all ready to go in. So I've got it taped off top, bottom, around. So I'm going to spray it here. I make sure these edges are down nice and solid. And then I go and I'll sandblast it. You can actually see that in my video. I just posted the plated wedge refinish of me actually sandblasting, but it's just a simple um, oxide 80 grit uh, media. I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, this was, you know, a video I wanted to make just kind of showing my process of an annual cleanup on the clubs. But if anyone has any recommendations or suggestions for videos, please do put comments below. I will try to get to those. I know someone said they want to see more of the polishing process. So I did a little bit more into it. Again, this is a nice medium finish on it. I'm not trying to make it look brand new because I do use this club. It's not a show club. It's just something I play with and it will get uh, worked pretty quick.